I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the March 2021 U.S. SAT calculator section. College Board gives us a polynomial and asks which form is equivalent. We can check the FOIL on choice 2, x squared minus 4 times x squared minus 4. First times first is x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. The product of the outsides is minus 4x squared. The product of the insides is minus another 4x squared. And the product of the last, negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. And that simplifies to x to the fourth minus 8x squared plus 16, which matches our original exp expression. So two, choice 2 is correct. What about oh, choice 2 up here is correct. What about choice 1? x squared minus 4 factors as a difference of 2 squares is x plus 2 and x minus 2. And since we have that times itself in choice 2, x squared minus 4 squared will be x plus 2 squared times x minus 2 squared. And that is choice 1. So both choices 1 and 2 match the original expression. That would be option C is our correct answer. Alternatively, if you have trouble with factoring, you can put this original expression into y1 on your graphing calculator, and then this choice in y2 on your graphing calculator, and the third option into y3 on your graphing calculator. Look at the tables of values, and since the, since the tables match for all x, that means the functions are equivalent, and that will also confirm that both options are equivalent. If either of these did not match our original expression, the one that doesn't match is not equivalent, of course. And that gives you a fast check when you've got a graphing calculator if the factoring is hard for that particular problem. College Board will always ask you about equivalent polynomials, including forms like this where they ask you about factorizations. So make sure you're good at manipulating polynomials and come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.